Well, so we've picked up a set of second-hand air jacks out of a race car. Uh, by no means is it a kit, so we've got to fab up some mounts, put them in there, and we're doing it a little bit different because we're going to have a, a gas bottle in the car running through some lines, through some switches, to be able to launch the car up in the air whenever we want. So we've had a good look around the car and there seems to be a pretty obvious space for the rear ones. So we'll start with the rear ones. Uh, right on the frame, there's a, a support under the tub that's pretty much exactly the same length as the jack. So we'll have to make up a mount to bolt it to that. So here we go. So having a bit of a look at how this jack came, it's locked on the top and a bit of pipe around the bottom. So that bit of pipe is basically useless. I'm probably just gonna try and make the mount long enough that we don't need that. We're going to have to make a mount strong enough that the top is just going to sandwich down the whole thing and squash it. So it's really just this little lip here lifting the car. But if it's strong enough, something will catch on that. And really that nice big chunky lock nut, that's really just holding it retracting. There's not a lot of force on that. So I bought this uh, whiz bang drill bit here. So I'll get the plates still on the drill press and give it a whirl. So here's the plan. That's a jack with a thread, a little thing to catch on. We've got to make a mount to bolt it to. This is going to be an awkward diagram, but it's basically just going to be a flat bar. We'll drill two holes in it, the same dimensions as that. Fold it twice, so by the side it's going to look like that. With a hole and a hole. And then weld a couple of gussets on each side. Jack through it, nut on the top, fold it to the front. That's a car. It's exactly like a car. On top of most drill presses, you can opt the belt across to change the gearing. So, little one driving a big one, slow speed, high torque, that's what we're after. Remember, someone always told me the smaller the drill bit, the faster you spin it. So, this is a big drill bit, so we're going to spin as slow as possible. It tells you on the front there, low gear, 580 RPM. That's a bit old speed of a barrel. Right now, let's see this fancy tungsten bit in action. Right. One of the key parts of the build is this crazy little gadget here. Uh, this is actually a three-stage air compressor designed for pumping up scuba box. And it goes to 4,500 PSI. The little super cheap auto one goes to 120 and it struggles, so 4,500 is just absolute madness. Those were the key nine following the build we've probably noticed that we've had a nitrous bottle inside. Uh, this is a bottle I've had lying around for some time and they're good quality aluminium bottle. So we're gonna pump that up with this. We've got a pretty whiz bang regulator. We can tame that down to probably 400-ish that's gonna be required to lift the car and then divide out of that to all the jacks. Take me a while to source all the fittings and bits and pieces to adapt the scuba stuff to the nitrous stuff to the air jack stuff. We've got all the bits and pieces all squeezed together. We're going to pump the bottle up and we'll see if we can lift the cap. Four and a half years and puppy. You got a hold around the corner and leave? I'm scared. Better read the instructions. If you want a better look at how this works, so you've got an electric motor there. The Gilmer drive on the front, a ute with a supercharger with a Gilmer drive like that. External oil tank there, just a normal compressor, then that blows it 
into this second cylinder goes around in there uh, and that goes up through this uh, sort of copper cooling area and into the third stage that copper cooling area would probably condense it as well so they could all, they call this a four stage and then uh, yeah out there so you've got the pressure at the first one pressure at the second one and then pressure at the third one and just those numbers on there are uh, hard to believe but <laughs> let's make sure we screw it up nice and tight and uh, yeah see we go looks like some sort of time machine So this is what I've come up with for the junction box air vent exhaust setup, what's going to hook it all together. And I thought it'd be mad if I don't just hook a proper air compressor line up to it. We've got a heap of air in there and a good regulator. So we'll just run a good air compressor hose out to a port on the side of the car or the front. And then if we want, we can just hook an air line on there and pump the tyres up or run air tools wherever we are. So air jacks and onboard air pressure. I hope that was in the shot the whole time I was talking. If not... Is it right there? Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you what, well, these push lock fittings they're called, where you just get a... It's got nothing to do with it. Where you just get uh, the hose and push it in that is an engineering marvel. You just push it in and it's locked. And you push it down and then it releases it. That's holding 500 PSI. You just push it in. Push lock. Very clever. Put it in. start messing around in there we better have a quick yak about what's going on so you can see it clearly that's a nitrous bottle pumped up with air we've got 2900 psi in there the little air compressor got pretty hot but we got there i started getting scared because it says on a little blow thing 3000 it uh it about lets off some steam so pulled the pin at 29 the compressor's making a couple of funny noises oh. i think i'm gonna Walk away. I don't know if that's normal with it. That's going to go into a regulator. We've got a gauge on the regulator so we know how much it's dialed back to. Tap on the end of that. Then that's going to go into this four divider block. This is looking like a fair old contraption, all this stuff. But uh, so, <laughs> so it goes into the four divider block, out to each air jack. I've already run all the lines through the car, which was an absolute pain, but we've got all that done. Tap at the front, that's gonna let it down, or let the air out. Air compressor fitting, <laughs> there's a light going through the car, through the firewall, past the engine, and then finishes in a fog light, in a port there. So that's where it's always gonna shoot the air out when the jacks go down. Uh, and we can plug an airline on there and use air tools with the reg turned down. So I'll tell you, when I was thinking about this, didn't think it would be quite this leery. It's not the most discreet setup, but it's air jacks on a blue turbo ute, so it's not meant to be discreet. It's meant to be a fun toy for a laugh. Looks fun. Does it fun? I don't know how I feel about sitting next to basically 3000 PSI in that bottle. I wonder if scuba divers are ever nervous. 
<laughs> oh, I kind of like it. Let's put it together. Feed me thread tape. Sumi normally edits these uh, working montages with real funky music. If she doesn't put any music to that bit, that is going to look pretty stupid. Brian Little. <laughs> Much it. I'm jumping and flick the switch. Hopefully we go up in the air. We're either gonna, gonna bend something, we're gonna blow a line off, or there's a small chance we'll go in the air. Let's see what happens. First test with the air jacks. Better than with the Can I do a little clip here? Sure, yeah, yeah. Ryan Little. Japan. <laughs> Up in the air, we shall go. Just look at the clips. Eclipse.